Hello, Charge Conference. This is Pastor John from the North Carroll Cooperative Parish. In a few minutes, the field behind me will be filled with uh, football players tonight for our Wednesday night uh, NCCP championships. It got rained out last Wednesday. Uh, we have two separate nights, a Tuesday night league and a Wednesday night league, where we serve over 100 football players and cheerleaders. Um, so I'm missing you tonight, but I'm glad to be here. Um, one of the things that um, challenges us is trying to dis discover and discern where is God at work. And one of the things that uh, help drive our ministry is we look for um, areas in the community of need and where our gifts intersect. And so one of the ways that plays out and we find God is through our youth and kids ministries. And so, you know, a few years ago, four or five years ago, um, we were actually concerned um, because there was other churches moving in and we were like, what, you know, what is our place here in this community? And one of the things we saw was the need for uh, safe and free and low time commitment uh, children and youth activities. And our parish stepped up. Um, so this past year, this past summer, we had over 800 registrations for our summer camps uh, and over 100 volunteers, which include uh, and our, our camps included Camp Harmison in Berkeley Springs. We took a group of 24 uh, kids uh, with us up uh, for that adventure. We have day camps, sports camps, art camp, STEM camp, um, agri-science camp, and Christmas at the park. Um, and so all those are free and, and create an opportunity for kids not just to come to a free uh, you know, daycare type of situation in the summer, which, which parents really like, but awesome camping opportunities because of the gifts of our spirit. We have farmers, we have horticulturalists, we have athletes, coaches, school teachers, musicians, artists, biblical scholars. They all give their time and these kids get an unbelievable opportunity. Um, this past summer, our theme was Christmas Every Day which Emmanuel, God with us, was our message that we taught the kids across all the camps. And, and nowhere did we see that more prevalent and the need for that message more than our, our time at Camp Harmison. Uh, David Cavey's been going to Harmison for like 80 years, uh, but this summer was one of the most special for him, I'm sure, and Kim and Mike Dunbar was there as well, and myself, because of, we had such a diverse group, and we had kids that had never heard the message of, of the gospel, let alone the, the baby Jesus story, other than Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on TV, uh, those t that type of Christmas. Um, so we were able to share that with them. Each and every night, we talked about God with us every day, God with us at school, God with us at work, etc. cetera. Uh, one particular night around the campfire, we had this young man uh, from the city and as we were talking about um, the birth of Jesus and how Joseph was going to dismiss Mary and those family dynamics at home, uh, the young man raised his hand around the campfire and we called on him and he said, wow, you mean to tell me that Jesus's family was as jacked up as mine? And David and Kim and Mike and I kind of looked at each other and we didn't know how to respond at first because it was so profound. And that hadn't been our experiences, but his home life was so messed up and so scary and so jacked up in his words. Uh, but he felt comfort and he heard the gospel and he saw God in his life through that story. Um, and so that's why we do this. It's turned into a full-time ministry and we plan it all year round and, and the preseason and the summer. Um, many of our, our volunteers, Lynn uh, Piper and, and Amy Dunbar and and I'm going to miss names, so I won't continue to name people, uh, put in countless hours, Richard Ross and others, uh, to make this a reality. And we do it for kids like that who will never end up in our pews. He doesn't live in our community, but he found God in our summer camps. And maybe and hopefully God's going to continue to work in his life and he had a life transformed by that. So just be encouraged, find out, don't duplicate ministries, find out what the need is in your community and what the gifts are of your church, that's where you'll find God. That's where we found God. We're just getting started. We hope to have over a thousand campers next year. I hope to add a week if my boss, AKA my wife lets me uh, add another camping week uh, because it's so important. Just one more child can hear that message. Next year we're doing Easter uh, throughout the summer for all our camps. We wanna hear uh, that not only that God's with us, but also that the tomb is empty and God is alive, amen.